So it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you guys have to come hang out at the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're on our way. Yeah, right. Let's go. <laughs> That's all. Um, actually, I, I wanted to ask a question real quick. I mean, because that that purple heart is is something else. What is what is one of the craziest uh, gifts you've ever gotten from a fan, other than the purple heart? <laughs> <laughs> you really want to know? I uh, sure <laughs> how about a? Let's see. How do I say? It? Uh, it's a German built Harley. It's German and Harley Davidson built motorcycle. It's got a two fifty back tire on the back of it, and Steve Vai signed it for me. Signed it. Uh, I got that as a gift about I don't know ten years ago. This thing is a uh, called Jaboom. It's a monster, but. He's not a fan. He's a dear friend of mine. Dave Habel, uh, back in the day when you had MySpace and all that stuff or whatever, I got a hit up and uh, somebody was saying, hey, man, uh, I, you know, I've been a, a, around for a long time. I knew who the guy was. And he said, I, I had something built for you. And I, I, I know this is weird, but I would like to to, uh, to bring you a motorcycle. I'm like, yeah, right. Is that a euphemism? I'll, that I'll, I'll, I'll see you. He said, I'll see you on your birthday. And I was like, Okay, whatever. Let me, guys, let me tell you what. Dave Habel is one of my best friends in the world. This guy showed up from Orlando. And I remember not really believing that this was going to happen. And I used to live on Kings and Queens Road. And I remember him calling and said, hey, man, I can't find your house. I, I'm, I'm by a Kmart. And I said, oh, he ain't lying. Wait a second. <laughs> you, you're on like the main strip up there, right? He's like, yeah, but I can't. I was like, man, I'm off a side road. So I'm driving to see if this guy's really coming with this motorcycle. And sure enough, as I'm passing, this truck comes by me with this beautiful black low riding motorcycle in the back. And he shows up at my house and he says, the only thing I want you to do is to promise me that you will have a beer with me from 20 years from now. And then let me see you ride this bike so I can I don't feel bad about leaving you with something that you can't ride. Well, I got on that bad boy and I took it up my street for about, about 150 miles per hour and turned it around and came back down about 200 miles per hour. He said, you're good. <laughs> Uh, wow. see you later. So that <laughs> that was my first motorcycle, and then I got a second one too. So uh, yeah, that, 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 that's probably the craziest gift is a uh, motorcycles. And then I house I have a Motley Crue signed guitar somewhere around here. That's a cool thing. Ronnie Van Zant, his daughter oh, Melanie, she gave me a, a a platinum album to Ronnie that was presented to him. That's here in the house too. That's probably wow. something that was a that's a great gift too. But you could go anywhere in this house if you go downstairs. You go in my bathroom and there's a you're using the bathroom in there, and there's a dang plaque, and Chris Daughtry's looking at you. So that's weird. But <laughs> you know, somewhere, sometimes you got to, you know, I learned that from Tommy Lee when I stayed at his house. I was like, uh, he had the one bathroom was Canary, which was nothing but fur. I remember that. Yeah. It was all yellow Canary fur in a fucking butt naked picture of Motley Crue from what it was a Rolling Stones or something. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's like staring at you. can't make it up. I swear to God. I was like, so I don't feel bad when I put hang up my friends in my bathroom. So, you know, some different bathrooms, you might see some artists in there. I don't mean that they're shitty or anything. It's just I feel comfortable sometimes taking a dump with some of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> you got to slap them out. I don't. I have a kiss. I have a kiss bathroom. So trust me, dude. dude oh, no, you don't. I love oh, it. Yeah, dude. Are so you if, you're if you're peeing, Paul Stanley's staring right at you. Oh, look at what just got sent to me. And I have uh -oh. to put it on my bar. Hell yeah, dude! That's the what I'm bottle, talking about. The fucking bottle opener. That is what I'm talking about. I have a Gene Simmons bong. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh also, yeah. Dude. I, please tell me, have you uh, gotten into it? Have you got into the replica stuff, the clothing, or anything that one guy in Canada that makes all the stuff? Uh, I I haven't. I, there are certain things that are a little just out of my price range. <laughs> so that's exactly what I was going to say. Hopefully, I was going to say maybe we can. I can get us the hookup and see if we can get that uh that bro deal. <laughs> dude, you let me know, dude. I'm all about it. I mean, I need the boots. I need the whole outfit. I'll be a real small one, but it'll be cool. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's that's like awesome. Short. Gene Simmons, like a Gary Cohen, Gene Simmons. <laughs> 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 it's, it's awesome to talk to you guys. 